Okay, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the equalizer on this 102 DL3 uh, 1992 bus. It's a custom coach conversion. So it's a motorhome, it's got another electrical system in the back, but this is the original design that uh, MCI did on this coaches. And uh, the topic right now is the equalizer, okay? And so just to get things going, this is the original equalizer. And there's my upgraded equalizer. Okay, uh, and I am going to replace this one with a new one and hook them up in uh, parallel. Now, there's a lot of questions on that, but it's really simple. I'll go over that also. You can have two equalizers in any coach as long as they're Vanner. All right, so here we go. Uh, the way you hook up. The vanner is right here where it's asking for 12 volts. You go into the first battery and you pull the 12 volts from there. Or really what it's doing is feeding 12 volts in here. Because that's what the equalizer is going to do. It's going to charge this battery. It's literally going to charge it and top it up to match the other one so they can both be equalized or balanced that's the job of the equalizer uh, and so the ground it's really supposed to go into the first battery ground and if you can see I ran my ground brand new one out cable up to the frame because that's exactly where the battery is and there is no other devices in between so I'm looking at that as one wire, okay? And then they both are touching the frame. Uh, so that makes it correct. But technically correct, it should have went from here to the first negative side of the first battery. Um, then the 24 volts connection needed to go to the second battery because this is where 24 volts is coming out or coming in um, but what I did again I went this way to the cutoff switch the post outside the half inch 13 bolt out here because I got that 4 aught cable coming from this side and so they meet up right here and so it's technically again I see it as one connection all right, and that's why I went that way, but technically it should have went this way, if you want to be technically correct. Uh, and so this is how I decided to do it. Uh, by the way, that's going to be a junction box. Uh, that's temporary. Right there, that's 12 bolts coming out of here. Uh, but let's go back to the 24 volt side, what I mentioned earlier, bolts coming in and coming out. When you start this engine, the 24 bolts come out this side, all right? Uh, and that obviously brings the level of the voltage down a little bit every time you start your coach. But then the alternator kicks in and again brings voltage back in here and, and tops it off. The There's other systems pulling 12 volts from this battery, so the vanner's job is to bring it in and top it off. Bring in 12 volts from here to here and top it off and keep them balanced. Now, that that is pretty much it. On this model, which is a 6680, it's a Family 5 from Vanner you see the green light over there that green light is supposed to turn on only when the vanner is working at this point my batteries are topped off completely they're at 12.7 volts so the vanner even though it's connected a hundred percent of the time right now it's not working it's at idle okay 
Uh, so don't be afraid. As you can see here, the vanner is connected all the time. The vanner has power all the time. It doesn't matter if the cutoff switch is, is off. That vanner has to have power all the time. The reason is because if something starts happening between these two batteries, that vanner needs to kick in and balance those batteries before you come in and do your next trip and turn it on. So that's what that's doing. Now, uh, I got an 80 amp equalizer. That means that out of my 12 volts in my 12 volt system, if I start pulling more than 80 amps, this vanner, it's gonna reach its limit and only pump out 80 amps. And if I keep pulling more than 80 amps in the coach, I'm going to have trouble. This is going to shut down and the whole one of the batteries is going to overheat and I'm going to have problems. So uh, at this point, I don't think I pull anything, but you can also uh, test that by grabbing an amp meter like this and you put it on your 12 side, 12 volt side like so and then in here you can see uh, how many amps are being pulled if it is over 80 then you need to double the capacity of your equalizer and the way you do that is you get your second equalizer and hook everything in parallel right so 24 volts here this post needs to go to the 24 volt side over here so you just simply run a wire from the 24 volt through the wall to the 24 volt ground right here ground through the wall down to the ground in this case on the family five it's in the middle the ground is in the middle and then 12 volts over here is in the middle on this model this is a 60-50a model that one you pull the your 12 volts and connect it down here the bottom post and that's it you leave it alone and now you have 80 plus 50. so now you have let's see maximum limit limit where does it say 50 amp yeah input output input divided by 2 50 50 amp maximum right here okay so 50 and 80 you got 130 amps now so now if something is pulling more than 100 amps um, connecting a second or third vanner in series will get you double the amperage going to the battery or the 12 volt system into the coach. And that's how you do the parallel vanner connection. Um, not all vanners can be hooked up, but the great majority of them, I think it's the family two um, models are the ones that can only stick with family two models. So you can also, as long as you stick to the same model you have, uh, you can hook them up in parallel. Uh, if you have different models like I do, uh, then you have to make sure from Vanner that you could do that. Uh, there is a PDF file on the internet that you can look at and that installation manual uh, will tell you which ones can be hooked up. In parallel you can ask me you can get with me um, I'll put my email down here and you can uh, ask me any other questions maybe we make another video um, so that's gonna be it hopefully it was um, some type of help for someone out there so thank you for watching and that is it